Be honest, how many tabs do you have open right now? 10, 20, is it 47? How much time do you waste switching between Google, ChatGPT, and articles you'll never finish reading? What if I told you that there's a browser that does all of that for you automatically? Imagine one browser that knows when you want answers and when you want search results. One browser that summarizes pages before you click on them. One browser that cuts out the busy work that you've been doing for years. It exists. And today I'm excited to show it to you. Hey everyone, Jake Dawson here. Let's jump straight into it because this is one of those tools that make way more sense when you actually see it in action. And if you're like me and you've been living inside Chrome for the last decade, some of this is gonna feel weird at first, but in a good way. Today, I'm walking you through Norton Neo. And before you roll your eyes thinking Norton, the antivirus company? Yeah, that Norton. I had the same reaction, but this isn't antivirus and it definitely doesn't feel outdated. Norton is calling this the world's first safe AI native browser. And I know that sounds like one of those big marketing lines someone wrote in a boardroom, but after using it every day for the last two weeks, I actually get why they're saying that. And a quick side note, if you like learning tools like this, and want help actually implementing automations into your workflow, my school community is where we go deeper with templates and real support, so you don't have to figure it out all alone. So make sure to check that out in the link in the description below. All right, let me show you why this matters for your business, because once you actually see how this works, you'll understand why I keep saying this isn't just another browser. So, feature number one, the magic bar. And before you question the name, as some of you already know, I am all about where the magic happens. This thing acts like your search bar, your ChatGPT window, and honestly, your control center all in one place. Instead of deciding, should I Google this or ask ChatGPT? You just type, that's it. Let me show you. If I type something like Smashing Magazine, Neo says, cool, that's a website. I click on Command plus Enter on my keyboard and boom, it gives me the normal result like you'd expect. But if I type something like, summarize the latest trends in AI automation for small businesses, suddenly it knows I'm asking for information and not a website, and it gives me an AI response right there without opening another tab. Now, here's why that matters. Most people don't realize how many times a day that they're switching context. One second you're searching Google, next second you're going to ChatGPT, next second you're copying text, and then switching back, and then opening five more tabs. It's like mental ping pong all day long. And every time you switch, your brain has to refocus. And it sounds small, but do that 40 or 50 times a day, and it adds up to real time, and honestly, real frustration. With the magic bar, you stop playing the where do I go for this game. You just type and Neo figures it out. No clicking around, no bouncing between apps. This is one of those features that feel subtle until you use it for a week, and then suddenly your other browsers feel old. All right, feature number two is peek and summarize. And this one is a game changer if you spend a lot of time researching. So check this out. I'm on Google, scrolling like normal, and instead of clicking a result and opening another tab I'll forget about later, I just hover over it and boom, a preview button shows up. This allows me to preview the page. It's like speed dating, but for websites. Now here's where it gets even better. There's another little button that says summarize. I tap on that and Neo gives me the key points of the page in plain English before I even open it. And this isn't just for articles. You can use this on YouTube videos, long blog posts, PDFs, even random websites with way too much text. And yeah, I did try it on one of my videos. Well, let me give you a real example because I know you've been there. You're researching a new tool for your business. You open seven tabs. You read a couple paragraphs from each one. And then somewhere around tab five, you realize, wow, but half of this is useless. You just burn 15 minutes and you're no closer to a decision. With Peek and Summarize, you can screen that same research in like 30 seconds. You only open the stuff that actually matters. And when you add all that up across a whole week, that's hours saved. Hours that you can use to build systems, talk to leads, or honestly, just take a break. Now, yeah, this feature probably hurts publishers who want you to click and scroll forever, but as a business owner trying to make decisions fast, this is a lifesaver. It keeps you moving, it keeps your brain focused, and it keeps you out of that rabbit hole where suddenly it's 2 a.m. and you're comparing email tools that you're never going to use. All right, feature number three is something I didn't think I needed until I used it. Neo organizes your browsing automatically. 
So instead of everything being in one long row of tabs, your work gets grouped into tab sections as you go. If you're looking at email marketing tools, those stay together. If you're checking competitors, that becomes its own group. Working on a client project, same thing. It sits in its own place. Let me show you. Right up here, you'll see these little category sections instead of 20 individual tabs. Click one and you're instantly back in that workflow. Click another and you're in a totally different project without losing where you were. It keeps everything cleaner and easier to jump between, especially if you're multitasking during the day. And sure, other browsers have tried similar ideas, but the difference here is you don't have to set anything up. You don't have to name anything or drag things around. It just happens as you work. And that's what makes it useful. If something requires management, most people won't stick with it. But if it stays organized for you automatically, you actually benefit from it every day. It's one of those features you don't really notice until you go back to another browser and everything suddenly feels messy again. All right, feature number four is the built-in writing assistant. So picture this, you're replying to a client email. Normally, you'd stop what you're doing, open ChatGPT in another tab, type a prompt, copy it, paste it back in your email tab, and then clean it up so it doesn't sound like an actual human wrote it. We've all done it. But with Neo, you don't need to leave the box that you're typing in. You start typing into any text field, Gmail, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever, and a little icon pops up. Click it and tell it what you want. Maybe like, write a friendly response confirming delivery time. And boom, it writes a draft right there. No switching, no hunting for your ChatGPT window, no breaking your flow. It even has these little suggestion snippets that you can click on like summarize, pros and cons, make it longer, check my grammar. Let me show you real quick so you can see what I mean. All right, I'm in Gmail. I click inside the message. The AI icon appears. I click it, give it a short instruction, and it writes the response right inside my email editor. Then all I do is tweak the tone or add specifics. It turns a two minute task into a 15 second one. And yeah, before you wonder, it's not some watered down AI. It's actually using models on the same level as ChatGPT or Claude. So the writing feels natural and professional. And after using it for a bit, I realized I wasn't opening extra tabs anymore. It handled what I needed right where I was typing. It's again, one of those features that doesn't seem huge at first, but once you get used to it, going back feels slow. Okay, moving on to feature number five. This is the smart reminders, which you'll see under the little bell icon here. It'll give you personalized insights and feed suggestions that are relevant to what you're working on. This is one of those features that gets smarter the more that you use Neo. And the cool part is you don't have to configure anything complicated. You just use the browser as you normally would, and it slowly starts learning your workflow. All right, the last one is security. And this is something most people don't think about until it becomes a problem. Neo has security baked in from the start. So you've got an ad blocker, tracking protection, and malicious site protection already running the second that you install it. No extensions, no setup, nothing extra to do. And here's why that actually matters. If you're running a business, you're dealing with client information, financial accounts, login portals, contracts, private data, you know, all of the stuff that you really don't want floating around on the internet. Every time you install a random extension to try to fix a tiny problem, you're trusting that extension with everything you do inside your browser. And yet most of the time it's fine until it's not. With Neo, you're basically getting Norton's cybersecurity running in the background while you work. And Norton's been doing security longer than most of us have been doing business. So it's not some new startup experimenting on you. You don't see the protection happening. You don't get pop-ups or nag messages. It just quietly does the job. And honestly, that's the best kind of security. And one more thing I like, this isn't one of those free tools where the price is actually your data. They're not selling your browser history or sneaking in weird hidden fees later. Norton's a public company with a reputation to protect. So, you know, they can't get away with that shady stuff. So if you do sales, client work, or anything involving sensitive business tools, this isn't just a nice to have, it gives you peace of mind. And that's really what this whole AI browser idea feels like. Smarter, safer, simpler. All right, so here's my honest take after using Norton Neo every day for the last two weeks. If you're expecting the most advanced AI automation experience out there, that's not really what this is, nor is it what this browser is aiming for yet. But that focus is exactly what makes it valuable. Instead of trying to do everything, it nails the stuff that you actually do all day long. It makes the everyday stuff 
research, reading, writing quick emails, staying organized. It makes it all feel faster and smoother. And it does that without making you learn a new system or changing the way that you already work. You just download it, start using it, and the benefits kind of stack up naturally. So the question isn't, should you use an AI browser? It's more, do you want to start getting familiar with this now while the learning curve is low and you can ease into it? Or wait till this becomes the new normal. And the great thing here is that there's no real risk. It's free. It works with Chrome extensions. You download it, try it for a few minutes, and if it clicks with you and how you work, it can easily become one of those tools that you wonder how you ever worked without. For me, I'm keeping it in my workflow. I'm not using it full time yet, but I'm using it daily for certain tasks because it genuinely helps. I'm excited to see where this goes and I can see myself using it more and more. All right, before we wrap up, I wanna know, are you someone with five organized tabs or are you swimming in browser chaos like the rest of us? Drop a comment, I'm curious. You can try Norton Neo for yourself. Just go grab it at neobrowser.ai. I dropped the link in the description and in the first comment below so you can get to it fast and use the early access link that I added there too. That's the one I used and it gets you in quicker instead of waiting for an invite. And if you wanna hang out with other business owners testing it, the Neo Discord is in the description too. It's actually pretty active and people are already sharing shortcuts, workflows, and setups that save time. So it's worth joining if you want ideas without figuring everything out alone. Also, if you like learning tools like this one, but you want step-by-step -step help on using AI to save time in your business, my school community is where we go deeper and actually implement this stuff together with templates and real support. So again, you're not figuring everything out alone. The link is in the description below. Make sure to hit subscribe and give this video a like because everything on this channel is about practical, real world AI that you can actually use. Not just flashy demos that look cool, but don't help you get anything done. All right, go download Neo, test it for a week, and then come back and tell me what you think. Thanks again for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next one where we're going to take this even further and dive into AI powered productivity. Just click on the video to my left and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. See you there.